Hey there YouTube, California Prepper here. Well, I know uh, I might get a lot of shit for this. Um, I've had people in the past when I uploaded videos about uh, this subject just give me shit about it. And to tell you the truth, I don't give a damn what you guys think. Uh, to tell you the truth, I think there's room in every prepper's uh, toolbox um, for extra tools. And I believe every every tool has its place and uh, I'm a big supporter of um, of the product that I'm about, about to show you guys and uh, tell you the truth you haters want to hate on it go ahead but let me bust you in the ass with it and tell me it ain't gonna do something uh, so without further ado let me show you what we're talking about this here is a Ruger Air Magnum pellet rifle it's in uh, .177. It has a uh, FPS level of 1400 FPS with alloy and uh, up to 1200 FPS with lead. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty powerful rifle. Um, I, I really needed to up my pellet gun game. About a couple weeks ago, uh, we had a... Uh, mischievous raccoon problem that was coming in the yard attacking the cats attacking the dogs and um, man I just didn't know what to do with it uh, okay so one morning I go out and I'm headed off to work it's about 430 and I'm walking out the door with my coffee and everything and I and I hear this hissing sound and it was a little it was a bigger hiss than a than a cat and uh, I you know I, I kind of looked down underneath my RV and I see a tail slide behind the tire and these eyes start glowing and it just hisses again and man it scared the shit out of me. Now I don't scare easy. I'm a country boy. I've seen raccoons. I've seen possums. I've seen bears. I've seen everything. But the look this thing had in its eyes was I'm gonna fuck you up. You better get away from me. And uh, I have a couple pictures of the coon after uh, we handled it. Here it is. It wasn't the biggest raccoon I ever seen, but it sure was a pissed off raccoon. And I don't know if you guys know anything about raccoons, but they will fuck your shit up if uh, you don't be careful. So, the point to this whole raccoon story is, uh, I come inside and I had two options. I could grab a shotgun and go out there with a 12 gauge and try and shoot under my RV and not have any of the pa uh, of the pellets or pattern hit my RV hopefully and hopefully it wouldn't go too far and hit the neighbor's house or whatnot you know considering we live right next to people and we're on the outskirts of town or I could grab the 40 cal pistol and start letting off shots and hopefully those didn't pierce uh, through the fence and penetrate the neighbor's house so uh, I was in a predicament I do have pellet guns but to tell you the truth, I've heard of people taking raccoons with with pellet guns under you know 900 FPS, but I, I really don't believe it. Uh, well, you might be able to shoot it, but this thing I figured, man, if I bust this thing with a pellet and it doesn't kill it, it's gonna tear my ass up. So I really need to make sure um, if I'm gonna fuck with it, I better be able to kill it. So you know I. For about 20 minutes, I was stuck inside. I had no idea what to do. Am I going to go out there with a the slingshot, with a pellet gun, with a bat? I'm trying to throw rocks at it. This thing will not leave. It. I have to get to work. And I just can't leave my wife with the raccoon out underneath the RV with them trapped in, inside and everything. So, um, I, I had nothing left to do. So, I, I let my dog out and uh, my, my shepherd and and he went and handled business. I, that, I didn't want to have to do that because I didn't want my dog getting hurt. Raccoons are vicious and last thing I need is a huge vet bill because my dog got attacked by a raccoon and God forbid it have something, you know. So I, I didn't want to have to let the dogs out but I had no other choice so I let the dogs out and well the raccoon didn't make it. Uh, you know, my, my dogs had to do what they had to do but uh, that that really woke me up, and I said, "God damn, I'm going out." The end of, today after work, I'm going out and either getting a 22 or something strong enough to take out a raccoon. And when I went out uh, to the sporting goods store, it amazed me. 
uh, there wasn't a single round of 22 caliber in that entire store. I drove over to Walmart, not a single round of 22 caliber in that store. Every single sporting goods store in my town is sold out of everything except for birdshot and uh, a couple boxes of slugs, but everything has a hefty price tag on it. And um, it, it's just uh, some 12 gauge slugs, 20 gauge, 410. But other than that, that's all they have. You cannot find any 22 rounds. So I'm thinking to myself, what's the point of going and buying a 22 if I can't even get any rounds for the damn thing? You know, I already have a bunch of uh, 177 uh, pellets because that's what my other pellet guns are. I already have a shit ton of them. I can order a shit ton more. Why not just get uh, a real high FPS pellet gun? Because, uh, you know, I've, I've seen some YouTube videos, and if you have one of these higher FPS ones, these things will drop a freaking coyote, no problem, you know. Um, I've seen them take down raccoons, possums, all sorts of stuff with these things. Uh, so I was I was shopping around, but the last thing I wanted to do, if I was going to spend $300, I was going to buy a real gun. There's no point in, in buying a pellet gun if you're going to spend $300. Uh, but I was shopping around, and I found this Ruger, and um, this this Ruger here goes for usually about $250, a little bit under. Uh, but I found it on Air Air Gun Depot for $169 on sale. And um, I was going to get the Benjamin Trail XP, but it was $269. And I just, $269 on an air rifle, it, I just couldn't get myself to do it. $170, bucks, it, it's a little more in my range. Plus, it came with the scope already, you know, so it was hard to pass up. Uh, it's a nice gun. I've shot it a few times. Boy, does it have some power to it. Uh, it's a big step up from uh, what I had before. And and I'm just real stoked about it. Uh, all you pellet gun and air gun haters out there, kiss my ass. I love it. Let me bust one of these in your ass and tell me it, it ain't going to do nothing. Uh, this will definitely, definitely dispatch small game. Um, it's my only one that I have a scope on, so that's awesome. I can finally uh, take game at a farther distance because you can only... You know, you can only shoot so much with, uh, with iron sights. So, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the specs, so I'm not just rambling on about nothing here. Um, like I said, it's .177 caliber. Um, you can reach up to 1,400 uh, feet per second with alloy, 1,200 feet per second with lead. Um, it's pellets only. It's a brake barrel, so there's no pumping. Um, there is about 37 pounds of pressure, though, so it is, you know, if you sit out there all day long shooting this thing, you're definitely going to build up some Popeye muscles, that's for sure. Uh, you have front and rear fiber optic sights, Ambi uh, Monte Carlo style stock, um, and it's made from all synthetic materials. It's not wood, so you don't have to worry about taking this out in the rain and, and uh, nothing. You can take this out in all weather, no worries. And um, up here it actually came with the Weaver style Picatinny style rail. Um, instead of just hooking this up um, with rings, it actually came with a little uh, rail. So I thought that was pretty cool. The scope it came with is 4 by 32 millimeter. And um, it came with the scope rings. And it also came with this cool little thing. It goes over the scope. And um, there's sort of a yellow tinted... Uh, lens and um, I guess that's just a clear one and I'm not sure if that's supposed to help you see you know at um, you know different lights or whatnot dusk and dawn and whatnot you know how the sun's out but um, I thought it was pretty cool this is my first uh, first high powered pellet gun for sure so uh, it, it's definitely fun to go out and shoot with but uh, just wanted to share it with you guys share my newest addition to the to the critter getter pocket that I stole that from Dave Canterbury. Um, man, these things are just awesome. I think anything uh, that you can use to, to acquire food for your family, especially without having to waste ammunition, it is always a plus. So this is awesome. It's a lot, you know, it, you can hear it. It's not completely silent, but it's a lot quieter than a gun. So that's a plus. Uh, yeah, but Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Quick rambling before uh, my, comp my uh, camera runs out of time. And uh, that's it. So, talk to you guys soon. California Prepper, I'm out of here.